Hey everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple ability. So we're going to make, we're going to take this animation I've grabbed off the marketplace. This is from the Sword Anim Pro set by Kubold, I believe is the name of it. I'll link it in the description. We're going to take this little animation. We're going to give it some uh, logic in that it's going to try and find a target. Uh, we're going to filter those targets out so we don't hit anything we don't want to hit. And then we're going to apply some damage. And it's not going to take us very long to do all this, probably about a minute or so. So let's start off. So I want to make a new ability. I'm just going to inherit from the default base class because I don't have any special logic or anything that this ability is going to do. I'm going to name it New Swing. And let's open up our editor. So I already got my melee character here. He's going to be the guy who's actually going to be playing this ability. So I'm going to be able to see exactly what it's going to look like when he plays it. Uh, let me go ahead and turn off the character collision component and all these other visualizations. So we just get him. All right. So now I'm going to actually add a task. Uh, our first task is going to be to play that animation I just showed you. Uh, and it brings it up here. I believe it's fast. Attack move R down. So we want this one. Uh, it's also going to automatically resize our ability to fit this sequence size. So we won't have to deal with any of that. So now, if I hit play, you can see he plays the animation. Now if I want, I can also play and stop, and I can actually step through it and see where I want. So about there, I think, is where I want to actually do damage. So we're at 0.36. Of a second. So let me go ahead and add a task and apply damage. I'm going to move it right into where we're stopped at. And I'm going to apply damage to any targets we have. Perfect. So now we've got our animation set up. We're applying damage to a target, but we don't actually have any targeting set up. So let's do that now. So I'm going to just do a simple cone. Uh, I'm going to leave the angle of the cone at 90 degrees. That's fine. Uh, the length I'm actually going to make about 2 meters. And then uh, 2D is fine. I don't really care about the height in this case. The collision channel is fine. Uh, I'm going to filter. I'm going to filter myself out so that I don't actually hit myself. That'd be bad. And then I'm going to add a specific filter because in this case I only want to hit uh, some target mannequins. Now if I want to do I can make this uh, just actors or uh, player characters or uh, any type of base class uh, that I want but in this case I'm just want I just want to hit target mannequins and I'm going to set negate to true so that we only keep target mannequins rather than filter them out. I'm going to save it. I'll play it. I'm actually going to turn on our collision query so we can see it. You can see I got a little cone here. Click play. And that looks fine. Alright, so let's actually go try it out. So I've got my character here. I'm going to set his ability to our new one, new swing. Save, play. Let's see. Sure enough, I can hit the targets, they receive damage, and they go back flying. So that's it. Pretty simple. Uh, we've made a ability in a couple of minutes just from a simple uh, animation. So that's it for this one. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and look forward to more. See you later.